Hello everyone, this is Game Galaxy Zone, and this is something that I normally haven't shown off in a really long time. This is Minecraft, but more importantly, this is a game that I've wanted to show off for almost two years now. I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about it, I'm going to show a little bit off about it. Um, so here it is, I'm going to announce it right here. This is the Legend of Zelda Fire to Ice map. Um, I've been in the process of creating this game for a very long time. I finished it about a year ago, and I've been wanting to film it for quite some time. I was going to do a really awesome trailer for it, but I just don't have the video editing technology to do that. Nor am I an animator, so I don't know how to do that stuff anyway. So I'm just going to kind of show off the game, show off this area of where the starting point of the game is going to be and kind of leave it at that and then when I get around to it I will show off the actual game later on. So first off let me talk a little bit about what it is, what it, where exactly it got its name from, and some of the storyline behind it. So this game is The Legend of Zelda Fire to Ice. I came up with this idea after, or should I say before this world was originally called something else. I had been working with a friend to make an Ocarina of Time remake map on Minecraft. We started off, I had just gotten Minecraft maybe like a week or two ago, and it wasn't turning out very well. We didn't kind of like what we were doing, so I said, alright, I'm going to start my own world and do the Ocarina of Time map. Well, I started it, and then I was showing somebody TNT on Minecraft, and I ended up blowing up most of the world in some wrong places and it saved accidentally. So unfortunately the world was ruined for me at that point but I thought maybe I could turn this into something else. So I started coming up with some interesting storylines of The Legend of Zelda Fire to Ice. How years and years and years prior to this present day of this present day in Minecraft, um, the Fire and Ice Sages had waged war on one another and caused Hyrule to go into a serious panic which made it so that people had to migrate the actual Hyrulean city all over the place and as they kept moving around they kept getting destroyed and eventually they settled here where it's... I forget the name of this town so we'll find out when I get outside and it ends up becoming chaos, and legends upon legends pass down that walls and barriers were built to protect the last Hyrulean city on Earth. Nobody has left this place in over a hundred years. But recently, some new information has turned that possible things may have happened outside the walls. And they're sending somebody out to look for them. That somebody ends up being you. You end up going on a search to look for and what has happened outside of the city walls in the past maybe a thousand years. So in this game there is no official dungeons, there is no official enemies or bosses, there is no nothing that you're going to really face. It is mostly storyline and that's all I really added to the game. I was going to add a lot more later, there's a lot of other stuff that I wanted to add like enchanting items, blacksmith shops, trading posts, and things like that that never got added into the game because of how early on the game actually was. Basically in this game there was no bottom layer so a lot of this stuff you can tell that there's been a lot more blocks added. Um, quartz was not added yet, upside down stairs were not added yet, um, emeralds were not added yet. Jungle wood was not added yet. Emerald ore was not added yet. Chiseled blocks were not added yet. And I do believe... I think that was it. Oh, wait. The smooth sandstone was not added yet either. I do believe that was it. Um, as far as that goes. But everything should be pretty well behind, like, most of this game took place I think prior to 1.2 I forget when this world actually started it's been a long time but anyway I think it's time for me to go outside and kinda of show you guys what exactly is going on so anyway this is the house that you begin in it's right here it looks really nice there's some jukeboxes and stuff you can't really hear it because the volumes down I kinda of turned it down um, we got a chest in here nothing in it though a water hole for whatever reason, it's just there. So, 
Yeah, it's pretty nice. No upstairs, some books and stuff. Anyway, let's head outside. And here's our house. No windows or anything. And then here's the town. And just outside the town, you see this sign right off the bat. Welcome to Seaside Village. That's the name of it. And you also see the trial force chilling right outside your front door. That's pretty cool. You know, who wouldn't want that? Now, these are the walls right here. Not very big or anything, but it does wrap around the city. You can also see mountains and stuff on the other side. So it's not like the wall's completely high enough to where you can't like see anything or whatnot, but it is there. So anyway, continuing through, this area, believe it or not, has actually changed. This once was a grass prairie, but now it's looking more like a jungle biome area, which is quite interesting. Um, at the time of when I built this game, a lot of these houses are very bland. As you can see, they don't look very pretty, nor they look very stylish either, or relevant to any age or era within that time either. But they are here, and inside, don't look very nice either. Not a whole lot of stuff. It's basically kind of showing how bad this world has become, basically. And exactly what has happened. I mean, besides the glowstone streets and stuff, it's all here. But... This whole area has basically Hyrule. It kind of just goes over. You can already see the other side of the wall. It's right over there. There's not much that's here. Uh, there's this area here, which I kind of want to show off because I forget why this was enclosed. But I didn't notice that there was a ravine here until like the last day I had made the game. So it's really interesting looking around and stuff. But continuing on, I'm just kind of going to show off what's here in the villages and stuff. Let's go this way first. So, really nice roadways, lots of glowstone lamps and stuff, so it looks really nice. Some weird stuff going on back here. We have our food shops, so you can do lots of food shopping here and whatnot. It's really nice. I'm not going to show backsides and stuff, but... Then you got your fruits, meats and things of that nature's, some other stuff. It's all here. A random chicken egg, don't ask why I have that. And then if we continue this way, you can already see the back side of the wall. I'm not going to talk about that strange structure that's over there. That's more for storyline purposes, so I'm going to kind of leave that out momentarily. But um, if we come over here, we got the blacksmith shop. As you can see, the road kind of just ends. It's not very pretty, like. And there's a whole bunch of stuff over here. This is kind of where you're going to get your first tools. Do your stuff here and whatnot. Again, not very nice looking-wise. And then over here, we have the lava fountain don't know why specifically they would want to have a lava fountain in their town, but hey, maybe something went wrong. They also have a fish den here. Not very big. And then this would be the most interesting part of the town, which is where I'm going to leave off at. This being the new Temple of Time, basically. Uh, seeing that Hyrule has moved around and everything, lots has changed, so everywhere they went they had to build you know, some kind of their original artifacts and whatnot. The Temple of Time is one of them. It is right here. It's not very big. It's actually very weird looking. But, um, I'll explain more about this when we actually get to doing the videos. I can't wait to kind of show it off. I was going to do a whole bunch of awesome character animations and whatnot, but I'm just going to explain the storyline because I think it would be a lot easier than going through so many other transitions and kind of leaving it confusing for most people. So I'm just going to leave it at that. This is The Legend of Zelda Fire to Ice. I will explain and get into more details when it when I start doing the videos. I hope you guys are excited for it. I can't wait to put this video out and uh, have people look at it and stuff because I think it's going to become a really good game. I can't wait to play through it. I've been wanting to for two years now. So we will uh, see the rest of the world and the storyline some other day, some other time, that is it for now. Thank you all for watching, 
and let everyone know about this. You know, tell me down in the comments below what you're maybe thinking about what the storyline might be of, what it might turn out to be. I'm hoping that this becomes a pretty good series. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the first episode of The Legend of Zelda Fire to Ice.